much quite well. Well, no. Doing deputy stuff. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. A few times. I'm not very good at it though. Bit of tennis. A bit of badminton, yeah, a bit of anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm not doing musical theatre, I don't do that shit here. Uh, I do very serious acting. Uh, hello. I don't I teach like acting. acting. I give people the gift of harnessing emotion. I present them with the tools of which they already possess. So I'm basically the Santa Claus of drama. Um, I'm Wayland, Waylon Pickles. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's not funny. It's an ancestral name. In French, it means hill of light. Okay. Um, does picking picking? Sit on the floor. <laughs> Those chairs are reserved for me. Me only. Sit down. I've been working all day. I just want to sit down. We'll sit down on the floor then if you're that uncomfortable. I just want to ruin your trousers, mate, so I'm going to work tonight. Well, I'm gonna ruin your trousers if you're not careful. Sit on the floor. <laughs> Sit on that goddamn floor. The key to uh, any drama is having a completely open mind. You may feel like you look stupid, um, but you have to act stupid. You just have to not care. The boom, the boom man, Mr. Boom. <laughs> I love sound. It's an underrated. Uh, <laughs> it's underrated. Uh, under, 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 under. I'm acting all the time. It's instinctive to me. Okay. You don't even know what's real. You're in a you're in a world of your own. You don't know what's real. That's acting. You gotta empathize with the story. Okay. I like to think of acting as living another life. Okay, the life you want. Even if you're acting as a schizophrenic in an asylum, that's the life you want. Yes? Hi, um, just a question I assume is on everyone's lips. Uh, yeah. the, the chair. The chair. And how you're sitting on it. Hip dysplasia. 20 years. You don't want to go sailing on the Potomac River and fall. No way. This is what you get. Pure pain. All day. Um, what's that look for? You know how to look at people, don't you? It's important. You need those sort of qualities in a good actress. Or is it actor? I don't know. PC gone mad. I don't know if it's actor or actress, nor if I'm coming or going. I'm almost always coming for you. <laughs> Sex is serious. Yes. So, so is erectile dysfunction. I have it all. I'm an actor, dear. I can incorporate elements of any person into myself. Okay? Or any animal, which is what we're going to start with. So, yes. S sorry, it's, it's, it's me again. Um, it is you again. I, Hello. I thought you forgot yourself then. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if anyone else noticed that the. The mic. Oh, yeah. the yeah. yeah. oh, you're wondering about my little film crew, little film yeah. Um Well, uh, there's a little, um, little film happening about my life, uh, my experiences from childhood. Uh, <laughs> childhood, um, and um, yeah, just going through my whole career. Really, it's going to be a fascinating watch. It's going to be on Discovery Plus. So you're going to have to pay fifty-two pound for the year to watch it. Is it fifty-two? I can't remember. It might be forty-nine. I think it's forty-nine because they lowered it, didn't they? And then it, but anyway. we're going to be in it. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be about me. That's what it's going to be about. If you're in it. That's coincidental. Uh, I, I. It's up to them. It's up to the masters. I'm not or sure I'm a true master. Anybody else really, but I haven't signed anything. No. Yet. No. Oh, we'll get to that after you've been a beaver. So let's go. Right. Animals. Um, yeah, they, they really will look stupid. But so will I. I'll show you what's hard. You don't want to see it. <laughs> and secondly, oh. hard being an actor. That's you got to commit. Be an animal. Okay? What the hell are you supposed to be? A penguin? You look like you shit your pants. 
That's not a penguin. That's a bowel disorder. Show me your penguin. You want to see my penguin, sweetie? No. I save my penguin for special cases. You're not one of them. Oh, it's something else. Good. You pick a new animal. What the hell were you supposed to be at? Well, well I, I can't say how being an animal is, is at all useful. Well, did you sign up for my acting extravaganza? Well, I actually didn't. Know. It's called Wayland's acting extravaganza. It's extravagant. Uh, sniff her ass. That's what you gotta do, honey. <coughs> sniff it! Oh, you like that shit, do you? Yeah, sniff it. It's important. It's for character. You need to be more frog. That's not enough. Sorry. Ribbit. Ribbit. What the hell are you supposed it's... to be? Mate, I find this very uncomfortable. Oh, I find this very really uncomfortable. Uh, you British, you have a funny way of talking. I just don't know. Oh, so... I don't know. Oh, your syllables are cut off. They're pinched. They're pinched. Like, uh, what the uh, hell are you supposed to be? Oh, it's retail sloth. It's retail sloth? <laughs> Well, you look like one, and you know, that's actually quite a good choice. Well, that's just, you, you see, now, what I, what I want to do is I'm just trying to get them to harness um, their, um, their um, inner... Woof. 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 What are you supposed to be? Squid. You have to do it that way around, that's ugly. I've seen better things than porn. Turn around! I, 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 I will now join you guys, so continue to act. I like to choose the sperm whale, because I got a lot of sperm and I'm a fertile man. <laughs> it's not funny. That sounds like a dentist's hell, doesn't it? Okay, Mrs. Pearson, that's your number two finished. Let me just go over to the crown. <laughs> if you're lucky, you'll see my blowhole. <laughs> Ooh, keeping your animal. Ooh. Oh, that hand was not right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, that's good. Um, okay, stop. Stop. You're still being an animal. I'm just sitting. Animals sit, don't they? Yeah, that's why I'm. If you're a demonic entity, you better tell me. You're an animal. Uh, you told me to stop being an animal. Be a human. Humans are animals. You see, and that's acting. <laughs> you see, there's a lot of things I'm doing here. You don't even know when I'm acting when I'm not. I could be acting right now. Yeah, that's quite confusing. You're quite confusing. Um... You look like you're 10. I find that quite confusing. <laughs> okay? So, there you go. I don't teach children, okay? I teach adults, okay? So, off we go. This is disappointing. Where's the energy gone? It's not there. It's, it's travelled somewhere far, 12,000 miles away, I don't know, all the way to New Zealand, I don't know. It's gone somewhere, okay, and uh, it's certainly not in this room. Um, what's that smell? Oh wait, it's your ego. Get that fucking boom mic out of my face! Okay, well. Up next we have the truss fall. Okay, now the truss fall is a very important exercise. Trust exercises are great because they force you to be in a compromised and uncomfortable position. Uh, you know, you have to trust the other person, otherwise you could get hurt. Stand here, please. Um, I should probably mention I had a hip replacement. Um, you had a hip replacement? Yeah. What are you, 82? Well, that's oh, quite no. offensive. You're quite offensive. Mm -hmm. Anyone can replace that. I actually fell down some stairs. You fell down some stairs? How'd you do that? Someone pushed me. 
Someone pushed you. Who was that? Your abusive husband. You, 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 you look like you've been beaten. Oh, yeah. oh, you can't say that. That's acting. Even if you can't say that. That's acting. You see, you see what's going on here. You're fuzzing the line between acting and just being offensive now. Being offensive, that's part. You've got to deal with criticism. You've got to deal with all common acting. You've got to cope with all scenarios. This is one of them. Because when trust falls go wrong, it can be bad. And I can get sued. So utter concentration from the partner is required. You're going to fall. I'm going to catch you. Very simple. Are you ready? Yeah. I think you should probably think about this a bit more. She's just having a comfortable doing it. I think, um, oh, I also look, I'm from Britain. I, I know how to talk. I'm cleverer than Americans. You're not! I, we just think because she's just having a comfortable doing it. You're a slug. You need to stay one. <laughs> I thought we'd do Okay, cross ball. Ball backwards to me. Are you ready? It's coming. On my command. Hello, sorry, mate. No! 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 <laughs> that is why trust is so important in the acting world. It's a, uh, it's a good job. I always use a different name and accent when doing these classes, because <laughs> I'll be sued, and I'll be screwed. My loyal followers of God, we have a traitor in our midst, a servant of the devil himself. She has corrupted our community by poisoning our minds with her dark spells. Once she has hold of us, she would have gotten what she came for. Our Souls. Even now, tied to the post, she is a threat to us. We must muzzle the mouth so that our toxic words can no longer take control of us. You, servant of evil, have underestimated the power of God. He has given me the strength to silence your hypnotic tongue and to see you for what you really are. Witch. He also led me to these in her chambers. We must do God's work by burning this witch at the stake and sending her back to the hellhole from whence she came! Hello, Father. I see you've grown very fond of the church. Yes. I love it. I found peace here. I sense it is not the only love we share here. Sorry, I, I don't think I understand. Seeing the way you look at me, I know we want the exact same thing. Please, I, 
Off me. This is so fucking pointless! We're not gonna find anything! Nigel! What? I'm cold! I'm tired! We've been in this for three hours! We've literally found fuck all! I don't wanna be here anymore! It's not all about you, Nigel. What? No one is going anywhere. We're gonna stay and look together. For what, though? There's nothing here! The police have already searched the area twice! You could have missed something. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. Because three normal people are gonna make a discovery that will, that will magically solve the case. And then what? We'll find our little sister. Then we'll get given medals. And we'll become the new police all on our own. Because clearly we're better at this than people who, who, whose job it is to find missing children! For once. You just take a step back and think about someone else other than yourself. I mean, you're literally moaning about finding your own sister. Can you not see how unbelievably narcissistic that is? Peter. No. I'm sick of it. He, he, he thinks he can get away with anything. Excuse me. I'm not going to fight you, Nigel. Okay, I just want to find Sophie. Don't you walk away from me. You're always acting like this, always acting like you're more superior than everyone else. And you don't even have your own life under control. So before you go galloping off on that little fucking high horse of yours, 
Just remember how fucking shit your life is too! What I do in my life is of no concern to you. You always were a small little shit. Guys! What the hell are you doing? We have no idea where Sophie is. And you two are just so wrapped up in your own little world. You, you'd rather argue than try and find her. Just cry the fuck up. I'm sorry. Look, if you don't want to be here, then leave. Okay? I know you're cold and tired and upset and angry, okay? We all are. But we need to find Sophie. Right now, she's the only thing that matters.